Hi, this is Nathan Wynn from Animatic LLC. This power apps for beginners video will be on searching and filtering of a gallery with text box. So here I have a data set of 58 records. I would like to search using this text box here. For example, if I search for Nathan, I found one. The award brand for record and HR will be two. So the data will filter with personnel data, title, and the office the employee belongs to. So let's get right to it. So I have connected to this table of position. It's a fictional table of my employees with title and what office they belong to. For office, it is level two name. And for the sub team, maybe the department, it is level three name. So keep that in mind when I use those few in my gallery. So here I will insert a vertical gallery. I will connect to this table. I drag this down a little bit up here and I will just take the title. Go into this gallery, I will name it Gal Positions. And in this title, I'll change it to Normal Font 12. And there we go. I move this on top. And here, I just need the position ID forward slash this item position title. I will copy this and paste it here. Here, I will have the personnel full name and then the level two name. Now, level two name belong to the office. And because I promoted myself to director, I don't belong to any office. Therefore, I have that forward slash and there's nothing else. And I have uh, an assistant who also doesn't belong to any office. And for that, I would like to put a if condition. I say, if the length of this item, level two name, is greater than zero, then go ahead, at the forward slash and this level two. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the end side. Okay, now I will close this. As you see here, Mina belongs to contracting office and therefore the length of level two is greater than zero and so it included for the forward slash contracting office. But I am not. So that is some other thing that you do to make your gallery appear better. I will do the same for level three. Copy and paste level three and three. So now you can see Mina she at the office because she's the manager. But for Alex, Alex belongs to the pre-award branch. And therefore, you see the forward slash there. Okay. For the template size, I think 50 is adequate. For this icon, I will remove all the padding. I'll change the size to 35, 35, and the icon to view. I move it a little bit to the left. Next up, I would like to set the height for this gallery so that I can display about 11 records without having any partial display. So here, all you have to do is do self template height, which will set as 50 multiplied by 11. That way, the gallery will always display 11 and not being partial. I move it out because I want to add a title up here and then the text box search. Label. Blue fill. And I have it partially bold, change the font, admit this to 45. If you would like to have this gallery display right below the header and always align with it. So here's what to do. So first, I will rename this. For the gallery in the X, I would like to align with the header. And for the Y, I would want it to also have the header Y plus the header height. So this is when you move this up and down, left and right, the gallery sort of follow through. Okay, that's one way to keep things aligned dynamically. For the control within the gallery, I name this label here, personnel, title, the view icon, and the line. I don't like the default name too much. As for this one, I move the Y position down to two to give it some space in with the header. For the personnel, on the Y property, I want it to be relative with the title. So I will take the position title Y plus position title height plus two for spacing. And this way, up and down, everything will move in relative. Next, I will insert a search text box. Note to click off of the gallery. Otherwise, the control will be added into the gallery. Input text. I would like it to reference the position header with header with x, header x, 
Let's drag it down. Make it about 35. I remove the text input default int search personnel position and office font 11 and the left padding to 45. I need to insert two icon, the search icon. Now I would like it to reference text input. So here for this one, I name it search text. For this icon here, I will name it search text icon. And for the height, I reference it says text dot text height, which is 35, and the width I will make it 35 as well. As for the y, I will have search text dot y. For the x, I will have search text dot x. Maybe give it a a five indentation. So now, if we move this up or down, the icon will go with us. For the second icon, I copy and paste here, and I will erasure. And for this erasure. The Y is OK, but for the X, I have surtext X plus surtext width that will move it all the way. And then I minus self width, see? minus self width self here is referencing the icon itself. And I will minus another five for some padding. Now that we got the easy stuff out of the way, let's focus in the filtering of this gallery to the text input in this search text. First, we're going to obtain the control name. And then in this galleries item, we put a filter filter of this table where the search text dot text is in the personnel full name. Let's try with that first. Hit play. And if I search Nathan, I find Nathan. If I search Mina, I find Mina. One more. So it's working. If we put in manager, we're not finding anybody because we have not specified the gallery to look into the position title. And also we need to be able to reset the search text here. So let's do that. In this eraser icon, we reset control and that will just clear it out. And then in the gallery, we give some indentation for easy to follow. We copy this. Now, as long as the search text is in the full name or the search text is in position title. Let's try that. Right now, any title with the word manager will be on display. If we do HR, we will have HR here. And if we reset, we're able to do that. So what we want to do is to include all the field that the user can search level two name or level three name. As for the data here, if we reduce the height to just 10, I should be able to insert a label down below, 10 italic, Red, and I will do count row gallery position dot all item. And for this, I will name this search result count. And for this Y relative position, I want it to be the gallery Y plus gallery height and as for X gallery.x. So here, if we test one more time, we can say contracting office. We will find 10 records of employees in contracting office. If we would like to know the post award, we have four. Okay. This is optional, but if you would like to move the result up along with the gallery, here is how you do it. In the gallery height, if we put in the conditions, if count rows of self or item is less than 10, then then self template height multiplied by the count of the items. Otherwise, the self template height times 10. So what this does is it will put a maximum height for the gallery of 10 record height. If it less 10 record height, it will be whatever it is. The the single cell template height multiplied by that number of records, in this case, four. And therefore, the count label move up with it. I hope you find this helpful. It has a lot of little snippets that uh, is to be useful to you down the road. Please hit the like button to encourage and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you feel generous and want to buy me coffee, links right below. Looking forward to the next video with you. Bye-bye.